So these guys, and they were working with Galathian, and they were setting up an entire MMO inside of Valheim. And they're making, like, actual, like, cities, side quests, bosses, extra bosses, obviously, uh, like, weapons, classes, everything. It is insane. There was an idea. To bring together a group of people. To see if we could become something more. Over the course of a year... I, I might play on this server. I'm gonna be totally honest. Like, if this server goes well, and it seems like it's enjoyable, I think I'm just gonna play on it myself. A few loose ideas had slowly blossomed into something much greater. For a while, Ninebyte and I had been discussing combining multiple builds into a narrative-driven map. But he had just learned of a team with a similar idea, who were looking for some builders. Yeah. After speaking with them, we learned that our goals Valheim were server. closely aligned and agreed to the project. Now this was more than just an idea. Now it was time to finally get to work. 35 unique What the fuck? God. Bro, this is a whole new game. Look at this. Oh my god. A giant fucking tower. Oh yeah, there's like spells and everything too. Oh god. Jesus. This is all fan made, by the way. Keep that in mind. This entire thing is fan made. I had chosen to tackle the swamp whilst he worked on the other cities. Yeah. The vision was of a fortified township that once fell to a mysterious plague, now infested with corruption. Oh my god. First, I would need to clear and flatten a large area to help plan the layout and position of buildings. Sure. With the ground level of the city raised above the swamp waters, I could add undulations and crevices back in once everything had been placed. Next, I headed to the build graveyard to shop around for some structures. Oh my god. I picked out some houses, gates, and towers to modify and split apart. Wait, so they modified and they changed the buildings? Are you telling me that these guys put more work into their mod for Valheim than New World put into making settlements whenever the game came out? No. How? chosen buildings needed some weathering and for that i was in luck thanks to some recent breakthroughs over at mad wizard headquarters we could now create infinite health objects with the damaged look in a vanilla friendly manner Meaning i see require an installed mod better yet the same technique can help reduce network traffic By oh because it's not calculating damage numbers of course, yeah. So we're now looking appropriately aged, but they still needed something more. I wrote out a command to rotate each object a small amount uh -huh. on its own axis, which would give a crooked and collapsing appearance. Of course. Of course, that's... Combining both together was exactly what I was looking for. What the fuck? Dude, that looks fucking amazing. Oh my god. Look at that. 
I could accentuate the look further by removing. That's what I was because I was thinking this like whenever they did the first video, I'm like, oh, how the fuck do you do something that makes sense for a swamp, right? This is how. Positioning parts of the builds, a little something like this. Oh my god. I wonder how many hours this took. Final step. Was and, and like that looks so authentic too. Look at this. Let me go back. It even looks like the side of the tower has actually fallen down. Oh my god. Why aren't these like See, this is the this these are the people that these game companies need to hire. Stop hiring somebody who wants the video game to make a statement about a foreign conflict and start hiring people like this that know how to actually do work. This is insane. Final probably have a better job. Yeah, yes, yeah, probably works as like a software engineer, or like a programmer or something like that, right? Or is going to school for it. And he's like, yeah, no, I'm not going to work at some shitty game company where they're just going to fire me randomly. No. Would be weaving in yeah, some true. Storm patterns, it's a good point. Like trees and roots, which had grown over, mm -hmm. around, and through this long abandoned city. What the fuck? What the holy shit? A once mighty city, now a decaying husk. This is fucking insane. Like this is like, and also by the way, even the editing is sick. Yeah, the editing's fucking nuts. Oh my god! And this is a mod for Valheim. Not gonna lie, video games future is the indie industry. I can see why you say that. Lost to time. What blight took root here? What plague befell its people? They say answers await you in the Forgotten Fen, but you may find more than you bargained for. Fuck, man, this is amazing. All of the main cities were now complete, save for the Mistlands, which we plan to do together as the final build. It's gonna be so hard to do the Mistlands. But, like, I thought it was going to be so hard for them to do the swamps, and they did it fucking perfectly. So it's like, I I'll be real, like, I, this, yeah, this is a quadruple A games, yeah, that we really needed, yeah, this is nuts, man. I now turned my attention to the class-themed points of interest, drawing inspiration from each archetype's abilities. Yep. First was the Duelist's Lodge. Naturally. It's like an arena. Train together and test their martial yeah, powers. barracks. An outpost that stood watch over the road, complete with an archery range and a central arena fit for a duel. Oh my... Grand Bro, Genichiro is supposed to be right there! <laughs> what the fuck?! This is insane, man! Temple is home to the monks. Look at this. Favor can be yours if order can be restored. Oh my god. This is a mod for Valheim, gentlemen. Not so easily found is the Guild of the Rogues. A den of thieves, gamblers, and assassins who lurk beneath the streets. The Council of Mages look down It's like Dalaran Towers. Closely guarding the secrets of the arcane arts. Oh my god. I want to see the Berserker one, man. That is so fucking crazy. Earning the Metavoker. The Metavokers means navigating a labyrinth of unreality. A twisting network of floating platforms, invisible bridges, and cryptic puzzles. It's small. So you have to do the entire thing. You have to do the entire thing. Like, I don't... How would you do this? Oh, I know how I guess you would do it. You would have to stand in front of this and then drop an item and then see if it would fall. But I bet some of the bridges are half full and half not full. Oh, my God. Yeah, this is like Seath the Scaleless, you know, whenever you're going over to him. Or arrows. Yeah, you'd have to use arrows. You're right. Or by watching a YouTube guide. Yeah, true. 
This small patch of black forest surrounded by swamp was ideal for the berserker. You'll have to battle your way through the war camp, past yeah. barbarian huts as you ascend the hill yeah. at the very top for a showdown with the chieftain himself. Fucking exactly. That is perfect. Finally, with the Enchanter's Laboratory, a foundry of magical weapons and artifacts, yet a little lacking in the maintenance department of late. Oh with my god. The class seemed pure, whoa, wait, 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 hold, little... whoa, 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 hold up. This is insane. Look sick, yeah, this is nuts, man. Element of late. With all of the class themed POIs now completed, I sent the world file back to Nine Byte and we started work on the Mistlands. I created a selection of hulls, masts, and rigging, whilst Nine Byte worked on pirate houses and workshops. We found a perfect spot in a narrow canyon and added a giant skull you would sail under for the entrance. Emerging this reminds me of another quadruple A game. Twisting canal lined with taverns and jetties, whilst the floating plunder washes against some. Holy fuck! So it's like Booty Bay and Valheim. This is incredible. Okay, well, yeah, yeah, there, there's a lot of instances of that. Uh, Freehold, yeah, or the one, yeah, I, even the, the New World city like that is good too. Search for treasure lost in nearby lagoons. Oh my god. A shanty or two at the what? Timber. At the far end of the bay, a giant galleon awaits, pointing the way towards the final boss of the game. Speaking. That's. I like that's that's cool. That is, I really like that. That's that's very cool. That the the ship is pointing the direction that you need to go in. Oh man. King of bosses. Each of them would also be needing their own arena. We wanted to stay true to the original locations, but add sure. our own twist or upgrade. I don't want to show too much of these, but creating the centerpieces for them was a lot of fun. Well, they already showed the... Oh, oh no, they're going to show it here. For Eichthir, a set of huge thag antlers was created. Oh, my God. These roots. For Yagluth, I recreated... So, yeah, that's the first boss. I think everybody's pretty much fought this guy, right? The Decatry? Yeah, well, I, I want to go back and look at this real quick. And then it show it's got, like, the little... Uh, what do you call it? The trophy of him right there with all the smaller, like, oh man. For your gluth, I recreated this trophy with Sorry. some Mistland glyphs and rusty swords for the crown. And for Moda. I this is fucking nuts. This reminds me a lot of, uh. It reminds me of Dark Souls 3. You know? Like, right before you get to the Nameless King, it's like that one place. Oh, man. This is fucking insane. Motors the Dragon. Made an icy adaptation of the wings from my good pal, Deathwing. Mm -hmm. Every location Whoa, was what, then connected. Whoa, what, what? The wings from my good Oh, my God. Pal, Deathwing. Wow. Every location was then connected with roads and bridges, which Ninebyte did an incredible job on. Whilst he grinded those out, I worked on some extra encounters that we could place along the journey. A mysterious shipwreck, a wretched sea monster, a beacon in the mountains. I made a few small wagon dioramas, which Ninebyte then converted into a series of ambushed caravans. Oh before my he God. added even more encounters like secluded shacks and treetop watch posts. Wow. At last we were done with the builds. Or so we thought. We now sent the world fire over to Atlas. 
who could then begin adapting the builds for the other version of the map. That's right, there's two versions. Let me exp explain the differences between them. Ours is a 1 to 10 player linear playthrough. Okay. With the builds and landscapes as you see them in these videos. It will require no mods and be crossplay compatible. The sec What the fuck? So you just play it. Oh my god. The second is version is an up to 100 player MMO style experience with the builds adapted into a custom world generation by Atlas to suit the increased player count. This will be fully modded with quests, loot, and NPCs to oh my a God. full RPG experience. Oh my God! Yeah, I watched the first one of this. I did. I thought this was fucking crazy, and it still is. So what about our yeah. version? Will that have quests, NPCs, and so on? Yes, actually. Over the last month, we've been integrating these throughout the world to tell the story and bring these places to life. Uh -huh. But wait, quests and NPCs? I thought you said it was no mods. It is. Through some clever tinkering, we've been able to create all kinds of gameplay systems with vanilla mechanics. Let me give you some examples. In every major location, you'll meet several NPCs. In Wanderer's Rest, one such NPC will teach you about the quest log. By accessing your compendium, you can keep track of your current objectives, just like you would in a regular RPG. You'll notice our quests are prefixed with this symbol for easier management. Oh my god. Some quests have a trigger system. This is... Back in the Forgotten Fen, you'll meet a ghost whose memory is fragmented and confused. As you uncover clues to the mystery of what happened here, the fog clouding his memories will proceed. We've got effect, so... Want to go searching through this goop? Well, then you're slimed. We've got tre- What the fuck? How does this even happen? This is crazy. Treasure hunting. Immersive hover text. We've got traps. Don't stand here. Wait. So they did this with all the vanilla mechanics? Traps. Oh my god. And a lot more. So we've been weaving those in throughout the map. And in some cases, that meant more builds to facilitate the new quest lines. This is uh, insane, man. Here we go again. Some locations were expanded, others got completely new areas, yeah. including custom dungeons. Uh-huh. Look at that. Our next steps will be finishing up the final mechanics for some locations, or adding in the enemies, the loot, and then the final touches and testing. We are expecting to be finished around the end of February, when everyone will be able to play the full release. Stay tuned to both mine and nine by YouTube Bro, and Discord as we'll be that's posting today. announcements there when the time comes, along with more videos about this project. That's fucking today! Holy everything shit! Everything relating to the MMO version. Check out Gathalian's Discord, and Atlas will have a video. Oh my his god! Soon. This has been a ridiculously enormous project. I'm extremely proud of what we've achieved, and so excited for everyone to finally get their hands on it. Thank you to Mr. Gold for bringing so many extra sets of eyes to this project. We're both uh -huh. eternally grateful for that. But now, though, I've got to get back to work on the map. Look at that. Until next time. Oh my fucking god. This was even more insane than the first video. Like, I'm going to be honest. This was way more insane. Like, this whole, like, this swamp city and everything? What the fuck? One month ago. So, like, they've been doing this now for, like, what, a year? Like, in total or something like that? His monitors really put so many devs and companies to shame with this. Well, it's just, it's amazing the amount of effort and time that people put into stuff like this. And, like, this is the product of that. I think that's what's so impressive. Is to see, like, something that's... Like, I, I think the best part was this.
Let me see if I can show it again. Um, yeah, I think it was this part here. Dude, this part was fucking crazy. That would be weaving in some swamp assets like trees and roots. Had grown over, around, and through this long abandoned. Like this system. right here. This was fucking crazy. This video was so well put together. This was nuts. Look at that. It's a massive value add to the base product. That's why games that have modding and that allow modding are are popular for so long give the video a like man uh i don't know how i'm not subscribed to this channel i guess it was from another channel whenever i watched the first one that is nuts there's the video right there i linked it in chat they deconstructed the game engine to make custom builds it's a passion project yeah like it's just it's so crazy what like a few guys can do with a game they really love you know to me it is a fucking shock